Welcome back Future Medicos. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the most important judgments for OCI candidates. So this judgment is mainly impacting the overseas citizens of India or OCI. So I'm going to go through the judgment. The judgment is about 75 pages uh, written, but I'm going to highlight only the important points. To start quickly, if you all recall, in 2021, that is March 2021, there was a notification from the Union Government of India stating that OCA candidates will be eligible only for seats that are reserved under NRA category, right? So that was the background. In 2021, March, the notification came. So in 2021, certain candidates went to the court and the Supreme Court has given them an interim relief for 2021 only. And in that particular year, all the OCA candidates were allowed to appear for both general category as well as NRA category, right? That relaxation was given in 2021. Unfortunately, in 2022, when further candidates went to the court asking for again a relief, the Supreme Court said, no, we cannot give you an interim relief, but we will go into the details of this particular case. In further detail, we will try to understand and we will come to your final conclusion. So unfortunately, 2022 candidates did not get any kind of relief. Now what happens for 2023 and subsequent years, right? That's what this court judgment is all about. This is in fact a very good news for OCA candidates. So please listen, uh, who will be eligible? Are there any restrictions in terms of OCA? You will be able to understand. Now, if you look at the history of the OCIs itself, there was a request, right? A lot of requests for dual citizenship by candidates who are living overseas, right? Particularly uh, candidates who have taken overseas uh, uh, citizenship. They started asking for the dual citizenship from Indian government somewhere around the 2000, uh, 2000s, right? And in 2005, some kind of uh, this OCI came in. Earlier, it was like persons of Indian or PIO, persons of Indian origin. And then subsequently, the government introduced something called Overseas Citizen of India, OCI. Even though it was not a dual citizenship, but the government has promised a lot of benefits under the OCI scheme. Now, anyone who has come to India with the OCI card, with the OCI registration, they have an expectation, right? If, if I have come in the 2010, let's say I work in US, I have taken the US citizenship. My child has born in US. The child is a US citizen. Now around 2010, I moved to India for some reasons, right? And then my child is growing up in India for the last 10 years or 12 years. He or she has studied all along in India, right? 10, 12 years. And all along our expectation, right? If I am a OCA card holder. I was thinking that yes, no problem, right? My child can apply under general category. My child can apply under NRA category. So no problem. I don't need to think about other countries. I don't need to think about say US. Now that was the legitimate expectation, a genuine expectation from the petitioners. But unfortunately, when suddenly the March 2021 notification took away that privilege from the candidates, this legitimate expectation was defeated, right? That's what the court is saying. And as you can see, right, the 2005 or 2007 or 2009 modifications in terms of OCIs, uh, the statutory right uh, has given a kind of seed of hope, right? If I am from overseas and I'm living here, right, these notifications in 2005, 2007 and 2009 has given a hope, right, that I can live here my child with Gil will get the uh, education as she or he wants. Uh, that was the expectation I'm having. And we also have to understand, right? Uh, this is an era where the concept of multinational companies providing employment to Indian citizens has increased, right? A lot of us are moving overseas. And uh, uh, because of this, the incident of birth of the children taking place in a country outside India has also increased, right? We have seen a lot of candidates who were born in Middle East, uh, a lot of candidates who are born in Singapore, uh, who are born in US, Canada, right? UK. Uh, this has been quite in the increase. In these circumstances, successive governments had to bestow their attention to this aspect of the uh, matter to provide better rights to such persons because they were born because they went away to 
look for jobs right that's what the court is saying so technically they are foreigners because they have taken the citizenship of another country but they have a connect with india right these were the cases where though the umbilical cord with the biological mother had snapped in a foreign country even though they were born in a foreign country the umbilical connections with the country that is india right continue to remain intact as the entire family including the grandparents would be in india and the parents were indian citizens in most cases right what the court says even though they have born overseas they still have roots here they are very much indians their parents may be indians their grandparents may be indians right and uh, uh, this 2021 notification uh, has altered uh, the right which was available to ocis to their detriment right to their uh, disadvantage uh, the 2021 notification has completely changed the picture that we need to understand right and uh, the court takes note that it is a retro retroactive uh, notification what is retroactive it is backdated right you can think of these as a backdated the notification dated 4th Ma march 2021 is retroactive in so far as taking away the assured right based on which the petitioners and similarly placed persons have altered their position and have adjusted the life's trajectory with the hope of furthering their career in professional education so what the court is saying say for example if you have told me in 2000 10 that there is no possibility for me to get a seat in india under general category for mbbs then probably i might have shifted to some other country probably right or i might have stayed in india knowing very well that i can go only under nri category but in 2010 you told me that i can take a seat under the general category but suddenly when i am ready in 2021 when i am applying for mbbs you are suddenly saying that no 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 you cannot apply so which is in the court's opinion is retroactive is like a backdated um, a change in terms of the benefits given to oci and another problem uh, biggest problem for union government the union government has argued in this case that uh, we are taking away uh, this uh, seats from the ocis we are not giving this benefit anymore to ocis because we have shortage of seats and even indian citizens are struggling to get the seats in the colleges so giving seats to foreigners is unfair to indians right so that's the uh, argument uh, that the government as union government has placed and when the court arguments were going on the court is saying that there is no material with regard to the actual exercise undertaken to arrive at a conclusion that the participation of oca cards holders in the selection process has denied the opportunity of professional education to the indian citizens what the court is saying yeah you are saying that the ocas are obstructing indian uh, citizens of their seats but there is no proof of that okay that's what they are saying there is no proof of that on the other hand they are saying there is enough proof that seats are going vacant right for example in the parliament there was a presentation by the minister and he has given these data right 2018 about 274 mbbs seats were vacant 2019 273 mbbs seats were vacant 2021 197 mbbs seats were vacant if so many seats are going vacant why you are saying ocis are taking over the seats right the seats are vacant you could have given to ocis so it's clear that ocis are not the problem right that's what the court has concluded even though the reason for vacancies are uh, completely different in my opinion the vacancies are due to inefficiency of the counseling authorities not because of shortage of candidates but unfortunately in front of the court the data available showed that there are seats vacant why not accommodate oci right that's what the argument by uh, the uh, senior counsels appearing for uh, the ocis now again uh, the court is saying having undertaken the entire educational career in india or at least the high school onwards they cannot at this stage turn back to the country in which they were born right they have lived here for five years six years or ten years now they cannot suddenly go back to us or suddenly go back to singapore or suddenly go back to some other country and then compete with the students in those countries right if you have studied here for 10 years you have fine tuned to this system now suddenly you say that no you are a foreigner go back to your country 
right that seems to be a little bit unfair uh, considering the study pattern in those countries and the monetary implication it is highly unfair to the ocis right that's what the court has said the oci scheme was introduced with the issue of notification of 2005 which is in the background of the demands for dual citizenship by the indian diaspora that's what i said earlier uh, 2005 the oca scheme was introduced mainly to please uh, mainly to make uh, the uh, indian uh, people living overseas to make them happy right this oca scheme was introduced and as part of this instead of giving a dual citizenship right this kind of benefits were given right okay i'm not giving a dual citizenship but you don't need to worry your children can study they are at par with nris as far as education is concerned right uh, so that was the promise or that was the benefit given in um, exchange for dual citizenship of course oci is not dual citizenship but it almost gave all the benefits of citizenship right and this continued until 2021 right that's the point now again the court saying hey you have shifted the goal post the goal post is shifted when the game is about to be over right i have already played for 10 years 12 years in this country now i'm going to come to the finish line i'm going to just finish right you are running 100 meters you have reached the end of the uh, point now suddenly uh, the authorities say right the goal post is shifted no 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 you need to run another 100 meters right or you have not finished 100 meters so you are disqualified right the goal post is shifted when the game is almost over hence we are of the view that the retroactive operation resulting in retrospective consequences should be set aside and such adverse consequences is to be avoided right this is where the judgment anything that is retroactive has to be removed okay only it can it can be proactive right it can be in the future it cannot be in the back date so let's come to the main point right so far i have been talking only about the discussions and the points raised by the court and the senior counsels this is the final judgment the provisions as contained in the 2021 notification shall apply prospectively only to persons who are born in a foreign country subsequent to 4th march 2021 right so uh, the, the notification was released in march 2021 so the court has not said that that notification is wrong that notification is not cancelled but what it says anybody who is born before march 2021 they don't need to worry they can follow the previous notification right they can get general seats they can get management quota seats they can get nri seats anything they can get but anyone who is born after march 2021 they have to understand that the new notification will apply in case someone is born in 2021 or march 2021 they come and register an OCI 10 years later or 15 years later they want to get an admission in a medical college probably at that time they will be told that you can get only NRI quota seats you are not eligible for general quota seats or management quota seats for them this is okay this is applicable but anyone who is born before March 2021 and who is holding an OCI card they cannot be denied the benefit right that is what the court has clarified so anyone who is currently studying in school they don't need to worry whether they are in first standard they are in sixth standard they are in 10th standard 12th standard they don't need to worry right if you are an oci you can apply under the general category and get the seat so this is the final judgment the provisions shall apply prospectively only to persons who are born in a foreign country subsequent to 4th march 2021 because at that juncture the parents would have a choice to either seek for citizenship in the foreign country or you want to take a citizenship in india right if you decide that no 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 i want to take the foreign citizenship knowing very well that my child will not have the benefits in the education in india then it's their choice right nothing can be done so so we further hold that the petitioners in all these cases will be entitled to the rights and privileges which had been conferred on them earlier to the notification dated 4th march 2021 right now you can forget 2021 march notification right you can go back two or three years back 
and whatever the conditions were existing three years back that will be applicable for you and also the court has a request to the union government keeping in perspective the wide ramification it may have in future also on the Indian diaspora we expect that the same would be examined in the higher echelons of the executive right even though they have agreed right the government has the power to implement such schemes uh, please keep in mind right they are all Indians and they have uh, so much interest in India they may be uh, wanting to come back and settle in India so please keep them in mind right that's what court is suggesting to the uh, government right so that's the um, court judgment so in a quick summary if you are an OCI now you have no restriction you can apply to general quota you can apply to management quota you can apply to NRA quota so you will be treated at par with NRIs so NRIs whatever the seats they are applying you can also apply right so it's very clear so OCIs it's a big relief now the question may come the resident Indian citizens you may ask sir this will be a problem right this is unfair to us the foreigners OCAs are taking away our seat okay guys don't worry too much the OCAs are very limited number they are less than 500 numbers out of 18 lakh candidates writing NEET exam and 10 lakh candidates pass probably few hundred right uh, I think less than 500 candidates are OCI candidates and those who are taking government colleges or government seats are even less so I don't think we need to worry so much about it and it's I think it's fair the the court judgment is in my opinion is very fair right we cannot uh, put someone in a very difficult situation right they have grown right if, if you have studied 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 you have prepared until 12th and then suddenly in the 12th someone tells you no 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 you are not eligible right which is very unfair and the time now given right uh, anyone who is born in 2021 afterwards they will not be eligible is a very fair and very reasonable judgment in my opinion I should appreciate the judges right they were not taking anything um, in a haste right they have considered the difficulties gone through by OCIs and at the same time they were not completely uh, overruled by the OCIs and then say uh, remove the entire notification that also they have not said all they have said is it cannot be implemented retroactively right that's it as simple as that okay so with this uh, probably you will understand uh, what are the benefits now OCIs will have if you still have any specific questions related to OCI please ask in the comments I will try to do some other video uh, where I will focus mainly on OCIs and discuss about the process that you need to go through as far as admission is concerned right thank you bye bye